from the future, everyone. Um, I kind of realized I never explained what's going on here. I did not order wood. Uh, my neighbor had a friend who was going to bring wood that they had a tree that had been chopped down. Apparently it was seasoned. I don't know. I don't know the details. He had wood. He was going to bring it. And then the friend flaked like two times. And my neighbor felt bad that he had done that. And so he went and bought me a little bit of firewood, which was super nice. He didn't need to do that. I've been burning fence posts and everything just fine. Um, but yeah. I have firewood now, which is great because we have a storm coming up, so I will 100% be using this. Because I can't, he's just going underneath it every time I lift it up. Okay, I guess the question is how I'm getting all this in the trailer. Mr. Lizard, I guess we'll just have to figure his own way out in life. Um, I think I need to put the tarp back is the next step. Because I don't want stuff to come off the edges.
there very well. I mean, I mean, it's not gonna come out, but like, it's a lot of wasted space, but oh well, bags can go in the van too. so I don't accidentally throw them in the garbage. to try and catch him but he's gotta go i don't know where underneath my wood pile over there maybe for my firewood that that pile's going away soon too but like okay fucking scary dude you're too big you're too scary i just grab you oh oh look at him can you see Focus. Look at him. Oh, he is not happy. Oh, I so hope the camera is picking him up. Okay, buddy, I'm taking you to a better place. I put him, he was right underneath there. I put him in there. This pile's gonna go away eventually too, but he might just peace out. You know, it was at least safe. It was away from the chaos over here, but I missed filming the first load to the dump. Well, this is my second load to the dump. I've driven by this for a fucking year. It's going to the dump with me today. I don't want to deal with my bungee. So we are just going to throw it in the van.
idea how much of that I filmed. The camera shut off because the sun coming through the windshield overheated it. You guys saw me wiggle my way around trying to get backed in. <coughs> they had the excavator running, so it was really dusty. Like, I had lip balm on and that was a mistake because now I feel like my lips are covered in garbage dirt. So my phone's trying to overheat again. I'm gonna call that the end of my little garbage day vlog. In. Sit. Stay. Come. Jump. Good boy. Good boy. So I did a thing <clears throat> and I bought a plant, I bought a mesquite tree, however, uh, it took two guys to load it, so let's try and watch me unload it. <laughs> but it's not that heavy. Holy cow.
there's dirt at the bottom. Yay. And this is just really underperforming, though. There is dirt. Okay. It is slowly composting. actually too warm for that so you get to see it anyways okay This coffee has been in my storage unit that I got um, my stuff out of. So what, three years? It smells awful. evaporation now it's that the majority of this is cardboard and once cardboard gets dry it's kind of hard to get it to accept moisture again so the water actually needs to stay for a second but it's not it's just draining off so
limited experience out here composting in the desert, I would say the principle or the thing that I have followed or have noticed um, is that you kind of have two piles in your compost pile. You have the outer pile, which is insulating and holds the water in and like when you turn it gets turned in and everything and then you have the inner pile which is actually what's composting um, because it's actually wet enough to be able to compost so obviously for you to have a relatively efficient compost pile it needs to be pretty big because the outer layer is probably like eight inches thick no matter what so if your pile is only like 10 inches tall then you only have two inches in the inside that's actually composting so this is pretty big now the whole bottom of it was composted i didn't take it out or anything i want it to mix in and i was pretty defeated with the compost bin so i hadn't been doing a good job keeping it wet i think i have like a little bit of a renewed excitement about it seeing that it actually was composting and now that it's turned because I know it needed turned for a long time but I just was too lazy to do it so now that it's turned um, I think I will do a better job of watering it and hopefully now that it's reached like a bigger scale um, we might actually get some significant compost out of it Thank <laughs> you. 